Welcome back to the garage. Um, today we're gonna start on some Halloween stuff, specifically the fog machine. Um, now you will see I have done some of this stuff already because I did film a video of this, but I think I did a really bad job. So we're gonna redo it. And I also have some more ideas that I kind of wanted to try out. Um, so, you know, works both ways. So basically what I wanted to do is have the fog stay low instead of the fog just going everywhere. And I saw a TikTok on it and I was like, well, if that works, that's like super easy. Cause all it said to do is you just have to cool the fog. And so basically you just have to go from the fog machine into a, like a chiller box, which I'm just using a cooler and then out. Um, I'm going to use ducting to move it so I don't have to, I don't have to move the fog machine and cooler. I can just move the ducting wherever I want. But I did think about what it would look like if I could get the ducting to like be up in the ceiling and it falls down. So we're gonna try that today. Um, I am gonna go ahead and do like a before to show you guys what it looks like, then an after. Um, also show you guys what I've done to the cooler and all that stuff. I still think I'm gonna change on how some of the connections are made, but what I have now works and there's minimal leaking, which I will tape up the leaking stuff in the end, but for now it works good enough to show you guys and even if I did it on Halloween it would still work. So I am going to go get the fog machine, set it up, turn it on so you guys can see what it looks like before I do it and then we will get the ice box ready, um, take a look at what I did and then show you what it looks like after and then we'll try the hanging from the ceiling thing. So. Be right back with the fog machine. All right, the fog machine is warmed up and ready to go. This is just like one of the thousand watts from Spirit. I don't know what company it is, but just one of those simple ones from there. Um, so I just think I have, let me make sure there's juice in there. So this is the before. Um, the fog, you'll just see it kind of goes out and just makes a big cloud. So you can see it's just going out and then going immediately up. Not too thick. It is windy today, so that's going to kind of affect it a little bit, but we're, we're going to work with what we got. Okay. We're going to let it run a second time, just in case it needed to run through its cycle. But you can see just kind of, kind of fog, but it just... You saw it rose, it went from the ground and this went immediately straight up. And what we want is it to stay on the ground. So right now, this is what we have on the cooler. So just a cooler that broke on me. So um, worked out perfectly, but we have a hole on each side with some PVC going through it. So one side, two side, Look on the inside, I put some ice in there and start cooling it down. Um, see the hole? See the hole? Basically what we'll do is we're going to put the fog machine on this side. Runs the fog in here, the fog gets cooled down by all the ice. And then runs out this side, which will then run out of this ducting. For the first one we'll just leave it on the ground so I can show you. Oh, here it goes again. As you can see, this goes out, 
not very heavy, not very anything. And as soon as it hits over there, it just starts rising back up. So I'm gonna... I thought maybe it would produce more the second time, but it didn't. There's kind of. But as you can see, it just goes up. And the wind's sucking it out. Okay, so we're gonna get this set up and then we'll redo it and you guys will see the difference. So we are ready to do the after. So we got fog machine hooked up to its hole. Got the ducting hooked up to its hole. Um, as you can see, it's, you can kind of see the fog machine nozzle right there. Ice hole. Fairly simple. Um, and I was surprised that it actually worked, but here we go. You'll see it leaks out of there a little bit, but it's fine. You can see how much thicker it is too. I am having problems with the wind right now. But see how it's coming out thick, white, and low to the ground. It's not raising up. That's what we're looking for. After a while it will raise up, but it wants to stay low for longer. But see how it kind of has that like, like a low line fog. Then once the fog actually heats up, then it will start raising. Gotta hope we don't have too much wind on Halloween for this to work. Well, it'll work. You saw it does it, but the wind is kind of screwing it up a little bit. So I might be able to create like a wind block so it comes out good. I don't know. But I'm going to let it go one more time. Maybe the wind will be down a little bit maybe i can move this thing a little bit let's turn it this way we'll get it coming out right here and then we'll do like i said we'll put it up in the air and see if it'll kind of like like i was thinking about if we get it on the ceiling if it would like drop down since it wants to be close to the ground, would it just drop straight down like a big funnel and then hit and kind of disperse like this? Yeah, there we go. The wind's being good now. See how it's kind of just staying low to the ground? Like a spooky scene. But you can even see how much thicker it is. Like, barely see my hand. But then like that look is what we're going for. Wind, you can see the wind's pushing it. So as soon as the wind gets it, it starts going up. But you, you, you get the idea. It stays low to the ground, looks more creepy, right? So I'm gonna figure out how to get this up high. I think I might stick it in the bed of my truck. I think it's probably gonna be the easiest. Just lay it here. And I don't know if that'll stand up on its own or if we can maybe like loop it through this or something. I don't know. We're going to find out. I'll be back in a All right. You guys ready to see if it works? Um, like I said, it is windy. It's kind of screwing it up and it's kind of in gusts like wind is coming in right now. So I'm hoping I can time this. We'll let it run a few times. Hoping I can time it where it does work or it might just not work. I don't know. Um, and I'll show you something kind of fun with the cooler as well. Uh, Alright, I'm going to hit it and hopefully it, hopefully it goes. So I did, like I said, I just hung it from there. Yeah, I see that wind is catching it immediately. Got a big old leak right here though. Okay, fix that. 
<sighs> so yeah, the wind is screwing that up. I can't imagine we're gonna have a a perfect Halloween night. Um, I'm gonna let it run two or three times, just maybe we'll get lucky and the wind will die down. It may also be something that we just have to, if we get a really clear day, we can test it out. I can't shut the garage because my truck is what's helping it stay up. I don't leak on this side, which I usually don't have a leak. So here, I'll show you the fun thing with the, the it looks like an ice thing. Oh God. like a dry ice box when you open it. And it's even windier this time. I think it wants to. You can kind of see it wanting to and then the wind catches it. See right, right now it's wanting to, wanting to, oh, and it almost made it. See, when the wind dies down, you can see it trying, and the wind goes right back. Here, I'll show a wider view of this. So there's a bunch of fog in here, so whenever you open it, it looks like a dry ice cooler. And amazingly, like, this fog is, or, yeah, the fog's kind of hot. But the ice stays for a really long time. Like it, it coats it in that weird whatever the fog stuff is made out of. But like the ice lasted for hours. I dumped it in the yard and it just, it didn't melt for hours. So whatever is in there makes, makes it not melt. Well, that was kind of a fail. I was hoping Hoping that would work. Let it try it one more time. Oh, the video's been you know, to dive off the cooler. Okay, we're gonna see if maybe momentum helps it or gravity. So it came out of going up pretty good, but I'm wondering if maybe if we just have natural. It wants to go down, so, and you can see it's coming out now. So I'm hoping it'll want more to come out. If that makes any sense. Because this cold fog wants to travel down, so would having it be a stack make the fog want to come out? It does kind of look like more. That wind doesn't get a hold of it. But the important thing is, it works. I don't know if it works. exactly how I want it to, but it works enough. And we'll tape this. You can see it's kind of creeping out of these cracks. Everything will be taped so it has nowhere else to go but that end. Um, so yeah, that was a short, sweet project for Halloween. Um, I was thinking of so last year, I kind of had the garage, I just did edge to almost edge, funneling to one table right here. It's so like, this was the end of it right there. So table is right here somewhere. But it took me a long time to do what I did. So I'm thinking about simpling it down, especially if I don't have any help again this year. So 
I was using backlighting. I had a strobe light and some black lights to help hide stuff on the outsides. So you focus more on the walls and like you couldn't see behind it to kind of hide like the path to get into the house and like any holes I had. So I'm thinking about doing that trick again of like distracting you so you don't see how bad it is. But I thought about doing streamers or just cutting trash bags and just doing the whole front um, and streamers and then having just simple trash bags just um, kind of hanging. I kind of want to do where you can't see the candy totally um, just so you have to like you have to like walk in like imagine like there's a wall here a wall here and you kind of like walk in and then like the candy is like here so if you can't totally see it like you could probably see it if you went in on this edge you could probably see there's a table over there but like where most people would walk in like you couldn't see it i would put a big bright light here uh, like a big black light right here. I don't know. Because I'm thinking about trying to make it simpler. Um, by just doing trash bags. Just to block the walls. Spider webs. Simple things. Um, and then having tricks. Like the fog machine lays low. So it's a bit more spooky. Even doing the fog machine like under where the candy is so that where the candy is it's all like low line fog like right around it because if it is windy doing it out here would be useless just because it would go out and then just shoot up so there's more things on that um, but I wanted to get a simple video out I saw that on TikTok wanted to try it it does work if anybody needs to make fog a little bit thicker and stay lower, that actually works. GoPro, you guys dove off, you kind of scuffed yourself. Um, we will try this again, probably like on the day of Halloween, once I get it built. And like I said, I kind of want the candy part to be tucked back a little bit. So maybe where the candy is, maybe I can do it from the ceiling down, like right behind the candy. So like it's a big wall of fog coming down. Cause we can also, we can change the tip of this to something more skinny and flat. So that instead of coming out of a big hole, it'll come out of something skinny. So, you know, it's, it's already wanting to stay this way. So it just have to, cardboard and duct tape easy enough um but yeah i just wanted a simple video and let you guys know that we will be doing a halloween video of me setting up the haunted house haunted house um if you guys have any comments or suggestions i want simple I, last year you could see the table. I kind of want to hide the table this year. So we're going to see. I have plenty of spider web and plenty of trash bags. Um, I don't know what else to put to make it simple. So we'll see. Um, I'll see you guys probably before, but I'll see you guys on Halloween to finish this stuff out. So, catch you guys later.